Okay, tuendea tuendea na ile issue yetu ya business English email. Okay. Unakumbuka unakumbuka kwenye ile video tulikuwa tumeangalia kwenye kulikuwa tumeangalia kuhusu ile information email gani ambao unachagwaje email na nina 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 nini na sijui na nini hizi nini na nini na introduction na nini na nini na nini na subject unaandikaje hivi na hivi you know um tuliona na tuliona jinsi ambao unasalimia mara ya kwanza kwa mfano kama tulijua maana ya misi maana ya mister maana ya missis maana ya nini okay tulijua maana so okay sasa hapa hii tayari si ndio tuenda mpaka huko sasa leo tunaangalia ile message text ile maneno gani ambayo natumisa nina 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 nini you know alafu tunaangalia na hii na alafu na hii jinsi ambayo una, una conclude yani una conclude pale kumweza kuandika email okay so um maybe what you need to know maybe the skill you need to know maybe mjanye ni kwamba think of organizing your your message like this yani unaandika kwenye yani kwenye paragraphs you know unaweza kuandika kuna ile paragraph ambayo una, una introduce una introduce ile kitu ambao unaongea una introduce kwa refu refu kidogo hivi ile ambayo unaongea then you organize it into in in several paragraphs maybe kwa mfano maybe unaweza kuwa maybe so maybe kwa mfano um unasafirisha maybe tuseme mfano tu kwa mfano maybe unasafirisha maybe kitu kutoka Burundi mpaka maybe wapi kutoka okay unasafirisha maybe kitu kutoka Burundi alafu unaingia Rwanda alafu unaipeleka alafu unaingia Uganda alafu unaingia Kenya alafu unaenda mpaka kule kule Tanzania okay so mwele tufanye hivi kwa mfano naweza sema hapa jinsi ya kusafirisha huo mzigo alafu inakuwa paragraph yake inakuwa hapa hapo alafu bodi hiyo inasema ukifika mpakani wa Rwanda tutafanya hivi na hivi na hivi. Alafu paragraph nyingine. Alafu ukifika mpakani wa Uganda tutafanya hivi na hivi na hivi. Alafu tukifika kule mpakani wa Kenya tutafanya hivi. Alafu okay, tukimaliza itakuwa hivyo hivyo. Mimi asante. You know okay. Endelea. <laughs> Kumbuka it has to be relevant and short. You know inakuwa relevant. You know relevant inakusana hiyo kitu. Alafu wakati tunaandika hizi size kwamba unazifanya ikuwe bibonge itakuwa size ikuwe normal size you know ile maneno ya kuwe normal size kwamba unafanya ikuwe kubwa hivi you know proper font yani ile font eh, po, okay kwa mfano unaona kama wapi kuna jinsi nyingine ambayo ya kuandika nyingine sijui inaitwaje sijui nyingine anaandika hivi nyingine anaandika hivi alafu nyingine anamwandikia hivi so don't tumia hivi uandike maneno ambayo ya kawaida okay alafu tena don't use capital letter. Kwa mfano kama hapa I am particularly interested in course about writing emails. Sasa si kwamba uandike hapa sijui about emails alafu uandike capital letter. No man, be same capital. Also uandike capital letter, okay? Um so okay, wakati maybe you umejua jinsi ya ku whatever you how to organize your thing, right? In paragraph and everything, right? So let, let, okay. Okay, kuna maneno mengi ya kutumia, you know, lakini tunaona jinsi ya kutumia maneno. Unaweza kuona jua maneno mengi ya Kiingereza lakini unajua unagatumia vipi au unaandika vipi, okay? So So kwanza kabisa avoid slang. Yaani kumbuka tuko kwenye business email. So usitumie slang, slang. Yaani slang ni maneno kama sijui, sijui, sijui like, sijui nini, ain't. Yaani maneno yanayo sijui bubu sijui imo sijui imo sijui loro sijui lots sijui lots of la ile ile maneno ya kitoto kitoto yale yale ambayo unaandika kwenye social english right to come by business english somebody has to understand whatever you mean okay okay yani yale yale maneno sijui hela sijui nini sijui sijui tana you know don't talk about nonsense okay talk about real english okay again you have to check your spelling and grammar okay spelling grammar yani spelling unaandika spelling bado sahihi grammar ambayo iko poa okay yani grammar kwa mfano jinsi ambavyo tunatumia hii maneno madogo kama onu for ini ati yani kama unajua unaweza kuambia mtu ah um come <laughs> bring the money on on the bank <laughs> okay mfano try okay I'm not, what I mean unaweza kutumia hii maneno kwa kwa kosa you know be careful how you use such words okay so you from move for to yani maneno yanaweza ya mna maana sana hii maneno lakini ukitumia vibaya unaweza kuwa unaweza ku, kupoteza you know ku misrepresent the message right okay so don't com- usiwe confused sijui unatumia maneno gani au utatumia maneno gani okay don't be confused okay so okay <laughs> 
<laughs> alafu tena usijua kaweka hizo hizo blaze hizi wewe <laughs> doti doti usi alafu usitumise hizo doti kwa kana unaandika business email okay wachana huyu dude huyu unaenda kwenye social english ile ambayo unaandika wenzako ambao una you know so alafu tena jinsi ambayo tutakuwa tunaangalia angalia ndio maana una ndio maana una natumia tumia tumatumanga sana hizi zile zile vile vitabu ambavyo viko na vile vitabu vya kusoma alafu vingine na audio sikie wanaongea vipi na naandika vipi vitabu vipo alafu na mwingine anasoma alafu anasikiliza vile wanaona so utakambua kama kuna maneno mfano kuna kiingereza cha uingereza kiingereza cha uingereza ni nini kiingereza cha 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 UK you know sio kama uingereza nini okay ya cha UK na cha Americana kwa mfano unaona kama hii theater hii theater kila kilo kama shika kila king jinsi ambao wana type inakuwa ingine unaona color color you know na judgment so you have to be also be very careful no maana inakuwa vizuri ujue tena mtu gani ambao anatumia hiyo email you know Okay. Ni kwenye vile nyingi jinsi ambavyo wanagundua email ina ina inatoka inchi gani na ina kwa mfano mtu anaweza kama amekuuliza kufuali lakini unajua kama huyo ni mwingereza ni okay but don't mind about this so many people understand but you know you better be careful right so so bada okay tunajua hizi vugu nyingi eh maneno ya kutumisa yamekuwa maneno mengi mengi hauwezi kujua ni gani ambao utumia au nini so ndio maana mara kwa mara tutakuwa tunakumbushana maneno gani ambayo yakutumia hapa okay kwa sababu kuna maneno mengi wewe fanya tu research ujue maneno gani ya kutumia na kutumia kwa sababu kuna maneno mengi si kwamba utumise hii neno au utumise nyingine okay so sasa tumeangalia tumeangalia hii sawa na hii sawa sasa ngoja tuangalie hii sigini cha yani una conclude vipi email yako. yako. Unajua wengine wengine sikuizi wengine <laughs> anaweka picha na sijui nini alafu anaweka na linki zake sijui okay wengi wengi kwa mfano kama unaona kama huyu huyu anafanya photograph wedding photograph unaona kama ameweka picha yake hivi hivi eh, msini, eh, unaona, unaona inavuta eh inavutia mtu hivi eh alafu kwa ameweka namba zake huku alafu anaweka na social media yake hivi sijui mtu amuone jinsi ambao you know si lazima ufanye hivi lakini ukitaka inaweza kuwa poa lakini sio lazima okay so this simple tu okay conclude by this simple tu kumbuka tu neno moja tu sincere okay kuna hiyo sincere hiyo hiyo ni nini yani kuna maneno mengi tu lakini we cram tu hiyo sincere okay okay sasa yani wewe hiyo sincere au unika tu sincere najua najua najiuliza lakini okay kuna sijui hiyo truly. Sasa hiyo truly si mbaya lakini ya, ya kizamani hivi. Ilikuwa inatumika kwa hiyo issue za kizamani. Hiyo truly, hiyo DC, hiyo misses. You just don't mind about nothing, right? Kwe, uwe cha kufanya, uwe stick tu kwenye hiyo sincere au hiyo nini. Yo, sema tu unaweza oh, oh, sema hiyo faithfully kwenye social ingle ndio kwa you know e neno flani okay i'm sorry but you just stick on to use sincere this thing sincere sincere thing right okay just stick on to the, using this sincere because ah, let me not go deep deep into confusing you you just come and you know okay so kwa mfano okay for example ome conclude ome ome tumefuja paka huko chini kuna maneno gani ambayo unatumisa hapa na jinsi ambayo yako organize hivi so umeona si ndio sasa ukifika baada ya kuandika jaribu kuchunguza jaribu kuchunguza yani kuscan ile baada ya kuandika uchunguze yani uone kama spelling ziko sawa spelling ziko sawa grammar iko poa punctuation iko sawa you know baada ya ku ya kuandika vyote hivi hivi hadi vyote okay so check spelling Ah oh, unaweza kuandika spelling na maisha kitu kingine unaweza kuandika spelling maybe business kumbuka this is business english mtu anashinda kuelewa okay so check your spelling okay so so maybe <laughs> baada ya check spelling baada ya check spelling make sure una attach jinsi ambao umeelezea unajua unaweza kuwa unaandika email mtu anamwambia bana I've attached uh, I've attached my CV so you have attached this photo I've attached this so make sure you don't forget to attach okay don't forget to attach then after after that do what they call proofreading yani osome na vile vile ambao ambao umeandika pale okay hiyo some okay kwa sababu 
ukusoma ukufanya proof reading inaita okay obviously accuracy ya nini ya nina nina vile grammar okay so okay okay i believe i believe okay tumeangalia business email right okay tumeangalia business email. okay mara kwa mara unaweza kufanya practice on kutumia email Unaweza unaweza kwa wewe nitumie tu email nione au nitumie na wenzangu hivi nione kama nataka ku practice unaweza unaweza kutuma email then tunaona hivi kama una nataka ku practice tuone kama unakosea wapi na wapi ukitaka ku practice okay email yetu email yetu ndio hii tuma kwenye email mara kwa ukitaka kutuma ili tuone ili ufanye practice practice yako okay so tunadhani kama business email tume okay alafu if business ili ujanja mtu mkupatia kwa business email ni kama <laughs> ni kama 40% tuseme kama umekuwa mtaalamu wa business email umekuwa 40% tunakupa tu point zile zile za ku mko unaweza kuwa unajua kiingereza maneno ya kiingereza lakini unajua maneno unayotumia vipi okay so useme kama hii video hii vitu vile ambao umekuwa mtaalamu wa mwisho okay so after business business email next you're going to cover public speaking jinsi ambao naongea mtu amekuinvite unataka ume utoe speech kwa Kiingereza unatoa vipi ili mwezo kwa mimi mwezo kwa mimi tayari unajua lakini maybe tutajaribu kukumbusha kukumbusha how you can improve your public speaking in business english usije kwamba <laughs> usije kwamba mtu anakupa hapo naongea nini hivi so that's going to be our next catch okay so thanks very much okay see you Bye. Don't forget to send email so I check whatever you're sending, okay? Send me email so ili tuone kama ufanye practice na hii tukumbuke kitu gani kitu gani, okay? Thanks.